Cassie prepared us for meditation. Feet on the floor, back straight. Pull the energy in at the Christ light. That might be too much, Monica, huh? And visualize the peace. Pull that energy into your body, into your mind, into your spirit. Visualize it filling completely your beingness. Filling this room, this building, our community, and our world with light and love and peace. As you continue to feel that love and peace, feel the contentment that surrounds you as you relax more and more with the sound of my voice. Go to your special meditation place now, anywhere that allows you to feel safe and secure and loved, in the woods, near the ocean or a lake, in a beautiful meadow filled with flowers, or up the elevator to your golden chair. And in this beautiful place, there's a special area you have created for yourself, where you can sit or lie down, where you feel so much peace and love flowing to you that it is almost impossible to describe its beauty. In his book, The Dragon Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Alan Cohen tells how he decided to attend a concert at the last minute. He left home late, was held up in traffic, and had trouble finding a parking place. Arriving at the box office after the concert had begun, the only tickets left were in the back of the balcony. As he sat down in his seat, an elderly man took the seat beside him. Gee, too bad we got stuck way back here, Alan said. Oh no, said the man, it's absolutely perfect. We just get what we earn by right of consciousness. Alan had known about the concert for months, but vacillated in his decision to attend. His interest was uncertain. So he ended up with a seat where his view of the concert was uncertain. The people sitting in the good seats were certain they wanted to attend and had purchased their tickets well in advance. We are each where we are because of our consciousness. You may see this as good or bad, but like it or not, things are exactly the way they are meant to be for each of us to fulfill this portion of our spiritual growth on planet Earth. You always end up where you belong. Wait to the last minute to attend a concert and you get bad seats. Think primarily negative thoughts and you spawn negative experiences. Try to control your mate and you'll sow the seeds seeds of discontent. Alan ends his story saying, despite all the questions raised by our meandering minds, we are in our right place, doing exactly what we need to be doing at exactly the right time. Because life is a school. We are always in the class that we have chosen to learn the lessons and have the experiences we need to master Sometimes it's fun and sometimes we have to work at it a bit, but it is always appropriate. The Course says, no one is where he is by accident and chance plays no part in God's plan. Whatever thought is selected, whatever your consciousness dwells on is a message for you and will manifest in your life. Silently repeat after me. I am letting divine love and intelligence express perfection through me now and each day hereafter. Divine love is releasing all negative thought patterns from my life now and 
each day hereafter. I allow wholeness and oneness to flow through me each moment of each day, now and each day hereafter. I allow healing to take place on all levels of my physical and spiritual body and allow this healing to continue to take place even as I sleep each night. Today and every day, I make those consciousness decisions that will bring peace, love, and perfect well-being into my body and into my world. Thank you, Father, and the Holy Spirit for your support and love throughout each day as I strive to achieve those goals which are in harmony with your divine plan for me. Taking another deep breath as Cassie indicated for us to totally and completely relax with these words, these thoughts, knowing that your consciousness is with God and the Holy Spirit and will manifest in your life as you desire them to. Slowly begin to come back to this time and space, knowing that the oneness and the wholeness and the peace and the love and the joy that you felt in this meditation remains with you now and every day hereafter. And when you're ready, return to this place Gently open your eyes. So it is. Thank you, Father. Amen. As a girl each week, on Sunday we would go to church and pay attention to the priest. He would read the holy word and consecrate the holy bread. Everyone would kneel and bow. Today the only difference is everything is holy now. Everything. Everything, everything is holy now. When I was in Sunday school, we would learn about the time. Moses split the sea in two, and Jesus made the water wide. And I remember feeling sad, the miracles don't happen still. But now I can't keep track, cause everything's a miracle. Everything, everything, everything's a miracle. Oh, 
holy water's rare at best It barely wets my fingertips But now I have to hold my breath Like I'm swimming in a sea of it It used to be a world half there A heaven second rate hand-me-down But I walk it with a severing air Cause everything is holy now Everything, everything, everything is holy now. Read a questioning child's face and say it's not a testament that be very hard to say. See another new morning. Say it's not a sacrament I tell you that it can't be done This morning I looked side and stood And I saw a little red-winged bird Shine like a burning bush Singing like a scripture verse it Made me want to bow my head I remember when church let out Oh, how things have changed since then Everything is holy now It used to be a world half there Heaven's second rate hand-me-down But I walk it like a severed air Cause everything is holy now Everything, everything, everything is holy now. Everything, everything, everything is holy Thank you, Cassie and Christine. Let's put this mic back on.